we introduce an interactive technique for modeling 3D man-made objects by extracting them from a single photograph. Our method intelligently combines the cognitive ability of humans with the computational accuracy of the machine. We first demonstrate the use of 3Sweep on basic shapes. To extract an object from a given photo, the user uses three strokes defining the three dimensions of the object. Two strokes define the parts profile, and the third one sweeps it along its main axis. This procedure progressively defines a 3D body that snaps to the shape outlined in the photo. This example shows modeling a tap. After modeling, we map the texture from the image and edit the parametric model to achieve image editing. Before manipulating the object, the background is completed using the patch match algorithm. We change its rotary switch to cruciform and rotate it. Then we duplicate the tap and rotate it and attach it to a different side of the wall. This example shows modeling a telescope. While modeling each part, Geosemantic relations such as parallelism, concentric, and orthogonality are automatically recovered. After modeling, we can easily edit the image part as it was in 3D. Here we show the rotating of the lens. In this example, a candle holder is modeled and rotated. With its two arms duplicated to a perpendicular position. We skip some rotating interactions here. We also enlarge the middle holder. In this example, a street lamp is being modeled. Then, we copy the lamps to a lower position along the pillar and rotate by 90 degrees. The new modeled object is then copied to several positions along the street. In this example, a menorah from an oblique view is modeled. We copy and paste the candle holders by fitting them to the image, while requiring that they remain on the same plane and their sizes remain unchanged. This efficiently recovers the depth of each part. The final model is symmetric along the middle pillar but we can rotate the arms to different angles. In this example, we model a samovar. Duplicating its handles around its body and rotating it. This example shows modeling several objects in a complicated scene and repositioning, rotating, or duplicating them. This example shows how we model a Hanoi Tower image and can then play the game in 3D. In this example, we model the obelisk in Paris from two images together. One image is a close-up view of the base of the obelisk and contains more details. The other includes the entire obelisk, but the base is somewhat occluded. We can use the base model from the close-up image, transport it to the image of the whole obelisk view, snap it to its position, and continue modeling. The texture of the base part is blended into the second image. In the close-up view of the full model, the geometric and texture details of the base are still visible. Here we show a side-by-side -side comparison with Stolfin colleagues' work on geosemantic snapping. 
More comparisons can be seen in an additional video. Here we show some failure examples. In this example, due to non-ideal perspective projection, the table legs cannot be snapped to the image under the parallelism constraint. In this example, due to the assumption of uniformly scaled profiles, the tail of the toothpaste is not flattened. In this example, the snapping fails due to a fuzzy edge caused by the shadow cast by the bottom. Our last example shows a rendering of a full 3D scene with dozens of models that we copied and edited from images.